Hello folks, nice to see you again. Welcome back to the channel. We've got another mystery box. What's in the box? And this time, well hopefully because I've not looked in it yet, but this time I'm expecting something to be alive in here. The more eagle-eyed amongst you may have noticed in previous videos that there was quite a few empty tanks in the fish room. And this is hopefully going to go some way towards sorting that out. If I can get the box open. So these are fish that I have bought on eBay from a seller I've used before. So I trust the quality. And it's fish that I've been looking for quite a while to get. I used to keep them a while ago. But I've always had problems with them and I've kept them subsequently. Because the ones you tend to get at um, pet shops and places like that they don't really do very well in my experience so I've been looking to get some off a, a private breeder so you know that they're they're good stock if you see what I mean um, and that's where these have come from so if you haven't guessed already rams that's what we're talking so we should have two pairs of rams in here Well, they're definitely alive, which is a good start. Very pale, but alive. We've got a pair of gold rams and a pair of super blue rams, um, which are kind of, I think, a variant on the electric blue rams. Seem to have a leak in this one, so plenty of water in still, though. It's quite hard to tell from here which ones are which because they're so pale, both uh, from shipping. I think these are the blues. And these will be the golds. And then as a little extra. Oh he doesn't oh no, yep, still alive. Another little bit of fish. Um so everything's quite cold. So we best get these down into tanks and start getting them floated to bring them up to temperature. Um they are They've come in the Royal Mail unusually, so I think it's been a little bit naughty because you're not really meant to um, use Royal Mail to transport live fish. Certainly if, you, if they ask you what's inside and you say fish, they'll tell you to go jump, but I guess that relies on you telling the truth. But anyway, let's get downstairs and get these in. So the pairs of rams, I'm going to go into these two tanks and the better is going to go in one of these littler tanks here. So, you've heard me talk about it before, the plop and drop method is my preferred method for any fish that have been shipped. But the first priority is get them all up to temperature. So I'm going to float the bags for 20 minutes or so in the tanks that they're going to go in. Yeah, we'll go with that one. And then we'll come back, empty the water out, catch the fish in a net and plop them in. Back in a sec. Right, they've actually been floating for about an hour and a half because I had some work to do. Where's my scissors? So, definitely up to temperature. Now, you've seen me do this a hundred times. Well, you might not have done, but if you haven't, the plop and drop is my preferred method because I think it has the least amount of danger for the fish. Acclimatise them for temperature and then get them in there because these are really well packed fish. So we've got one bag and then another bag inside for each individual fish. So, anyway, rams the reason I've been looking for our they're one of my favourite fish. first kept them when I first got into discus really and they're a really good discus tank mate because they're quite tolerant of the high heat. Sorry buddy. How many bags? Um, and they've got a really good personality so they're quite feisty but certainly a few years ago there was a problem with rams whether it was bad genetics or bad farms that they were coming from, but they seem to always be bred in places 
clear. Whether the, the farms that they were being bred in were highly medicating them or feeding them on probiotics and things like that, but then when you buy them in the shop, they're fine for a month and then they just drop off and die. And that must have happened to me two or three times. And it was, it was quite a well reported thing, so it, it really put me off getting them. Um, so I've been looking for someone who was a respectable breeder to get them from them. And when I, when I did find someone, either the timing wasn't right because I didn't have the tank space, or when I did have the tank space, I couldn't find some good fish. But they all came together, so these have come from a, a breeder that I bought fish from before, so I'm quite happy to use. And hopefully we can get a bit of a little breeding project going. This is a leaky bag. Um, so what we've got here is a pair of golden rams a pair of super blue which i believe is a bit of a hybrid ram from the the electric blues and goldens i shall confirm that so that's them in i'll quickly run around and do the rest we'll probably need to give them another bit of a break for them to color up so we can see them in their best light. So they're obviously a bit stressed. They've been manhandled by me for... Never mind all this stress of posting. And then we'll do the better fish as well. We've got him in here. Right, all done. I'm just going to leave them to settle for a bit. I should really have the lights off, so... Just back my wrists. Um, but yeah, we'll leave them for a little bit. The beta was a bit of an impulse buy because I'm thinking of turning my snail farm into a beta display. Um, these are going to be a breeding project, so I do want to keep rams again in with my discus. But these have been sold as pairs, so I'm hoping that I can get some breeding going on. Start selling you guys some of these fish hopefully, and then I can get some for myself too. So they've been in about an hour, they're starting to come out of the shell a little bit. And as you can see these guys, they're up at the front going, Hello, who are you? What are you up to? Give me some food, probably. Um, I'll feed them shortly. A little bit skittish, but I suppose that's to be expected. They're just brand new in the tanks. So these ones, uh, they're a little bit larger than these ones. So I'm beginning to wonder... Well, I'm not sure. These were sold as a breeding pair. I'll need to check whether these were just a pair, as in two of them, or whether they were a breeding pair, because they look a bit small to me to be a breeding pair. Um, but, hopefully, fingers crossed, time will tell. Um, and then we've got the, the beta over here, who is looking pretty cool. Um, I do like this one. So that's the plan. Still got all the tanks on this side are doing things. So I do want to get some breeding going on. So we've got rams, we've got the white clouds. So the, the white clouds, the 
they're kind of on hold for the moment because the goldfish is living in this tank. Although I might move him down to this tank temporarily because some of these uh, white clouds, they do look like they're getting quite fat bellies. So I don't know. And then we've got the rainbows down here. Um, predominantly the dwarf neon rainbows. And I have seen them spawn once. I've not seen any fry or anything, but we've also got threadfin rainbows in there, so they might be eating them. And um, there's not that much plant cover in there at the moment, so that might need a bit of effort to get them to spawn properly. And then we've got, like I say, this is the snail farm, but it might become the better farm. And we've got the shrimp up top. Um, there is still some shrimp and some guppies and stuff down in these tanks down below, but these are going to be grow out tanks eventually, hopefully. Um, yeah, so I'm quite happy. Hopefully there'll be lots of action soon. Um, I really do like these guys. They're very, very inquisitive uh, for being in the tank for such a short time. These ones are still quite shy, still quite small, but looking healthy nonetheless. Anyway, that's it for today. Um, see you with a new video in a couple of hours. No, don't know when the next video will be out, but as always, thank you for watching. If you want to make sure you don't miss the next video, click on that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. All that good stuff. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.